Hello, welcome to another edition of The Bibliophiles. Today I'm going to take a look at a uh, take a look at Soft Apocalypse by uh, Will McIntosh. <clears throat> this, you know, I really enjoyed this novel. Um, it's not really post-apocalyptic, but uh, mid-apocalyptic. You know, starts out um, with, for the most part, the world is kind of stable and stuff, and then eventually everything just slowly goes downhill with, um, you know, artificial man-made viruses uh, taking plants and genetically modifying them and putting them in different environments where they, like, thrive. Um, you know, just uh, relations between nations, uh, you know, just... You know, just falling apart, infrastructures going all going to hell. Everyone's just you know going, just doing everything, and um, it was like I just can't, I just can't I just don't know where to start. Is um like it starts out in the early 2020s, and um, and just ends in 2000 like in the early 2030s where like all civilization finally collapses and um, yeah I mean like um, start the like the, the characters aren't just these guys that know what to do or survivalists they're not like you know uh, people who just like uh, uh, like sometimes when I see in um, uh, like post-apocalyptic type of uh, stories that have these characters that are supposedly uh, struggling to just barely get by, but they always meet up with every challenge, you know, perfectly. They can do anything, you know, they win, out, win every fight and so forth. But, uh, like, um, <clears throat> these guys aren't, like, you know, strong, cold-eyed survivalists who can, like, you know, may always make the right the right decision. You know, they're they're regular humans dealing with the uh, the you know end of the world. I I think this is like uh, like if you've seen a movie or something, and uh, you always see like a bunch of random people just running away from the monster, or you know, running away like uh, like imagine like one of those people were the main characters of the book, and that's like what this is. <clears throat> you know, um, just like I just can't think of any place to start. It's just really good. There's always this. Um, well, I just uh, it was like an era of like a um, sort of tragedy and sadness in the background. Of course, with the end of the world, like it does a good job at making you care about the characters you don't want to see them die or get hurt or anything you're always glued to the pages and trying to wonder like uh, what's gonna happen next are they really gonna get through this because a lot of major characters will die off in the, or at least separate the um, just gonna give like a um, I'm just going to give this uh, rating like 5 out of 5 and say, you know, pick it up, find it, look for it in like your nearest library or bookstore or whatever, buy it, check it out, get it, it's just, just, just get this book, it's really enjoyably good, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Till next time, read a book.